Saturday and Holy Week, Holy Saturday. The Holy Sabbath. Here beginneth the prayer of Jeremiah the prophet. Remember, O Lord, what is come upon us, consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our house is to aliens. We are orphans and father, less. Our mothers are as widows. We have drunk in our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our necks are in jeopardy. We are weary, and have no rest. We have given the hand to the Egyptians, and to the Assyrians, to be satisfied with bread. Our fathers have sinned, and are not. And we have borne their iniquities. Servants have ruled over us, there is none that doth deliver us out of their hand. We get our bread with the peril of our lives, because of the sword of the wilderness. Our skin was black like an oven, because of the terrible famine. They ravished the women in Zion, and the maids in the cities of Judah. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return unto the Lord thy God. Amen. The lesson is taken from the treatise of St. Austin, Bishop of Hippo. Man shall attain to thoughts that are very deep, but God shall still be exalted. The enemies of our Lord had come and of laying snares privily. They had said, Who shall see them? They had searched out iniquities. They had accomplished a diligent search. And man attained even unto the realization of their counsels, for the Lord, as man, suffered himself to be taken. For he had not been taken at all, unless he had been a man, or seen, unless he had been a man, or smitten, unless he had been a man, or crucified, unless he had been a man, or have died, unless he had been a man. Man therefore, he attained unto all those sufferings, which had had nothing in him, unless he had been a man. But if he had not been man, man had not been redeemed. And the Lord as man attained to thoughts that were very deep, yea, secret, showing the manhood to the eyes of men, and keeping the Godhead within him, veiling the form of God, as touching which, he is equal to the Father, and manifesting the form of a servant, as touching which, he is inferior to the Father. How far did the accomplishment of their diligent search reach? Even to the setting a watch of soldiers at the sepulchre, to guard the Lord, even after he was dead and buried. For they said unto Pilate, Sir, we remember that that deceiver. This was the term by which they designated the Lord Jesus Christ, and the remembrance that he was so named as a sweet consolation to us his servants, when we are called impostors. So they said unto Pilate, that deceiver said, while he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulcher be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come and steal him away, and say unto the people, He is risen again from the dead, so the last the error shall be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, Ye have a watch. Go your way. Make it as sure as ye can. So they went and made the sepulcher sure, sealing the stone, and setting a watch. So they went and made the sepulcher sure, sealing the stone, and setting a watch in Anon, behold, there was a great earthquake, and the Lord arose. So great wonders were wrought about the sepulcher that the very soldiers, which were put to guard it, were witnesses thereto, if only they would have told the truth. But the same love of money which had made a slave of that disciple who was a companion of Christ, made slaves also of the soldiers that were put to watch his sepulchre. Some of the watch came into the city, and showed unto the chief priests all the things that were done, and when they were assembled with the elders, and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night, and stole him away while we slept. In good sooth, their diligent search had been accomplished and ended before this. What deeds thou say, O stupid cunning? Waste thou indeed so utterly void of the light of godly wisdom, and confounded in the bottomless pit of thine own falsehood as to tell them to say, His disciples came by night, and stole him away while we slept. Part of the testimony of thine eyewitnesses was that they were asleep at the time, 
Thou thyself wastest leap not to be able to see that on their own testimony, their testimony must have been worthless. Amen. The lesson is taken from the epistle of the blessed apostle St. Paul to the Hebrews. Christ being come an high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once for all into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of goats or of bulls, and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean, sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who, through the Holy Spirit, offered himself without spot to God, purge our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that, by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they, which are called, might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of that stator. For a testament is of force after men are dead, otherwise it is of no strength at all while that stator liveth. Wherefore neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had read every precept of the law to all the people, he took the blood of calves and of goats, with water, and scarlet wool, and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament which God hath enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled likewise with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without shedding of blood is no remission. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et filius, et spiritus sanctus. Amen.